the, the statist economic minister, Dashan. Speak loud. Venezuela export production of oil, natural gas, and, and the, the country are, and the country is one of the top oil producer. Venezuela imports agricultural products, livestock, raw material, machinery, and equipment transport. Transport equipment. Venezuela has positive relationship with the U.S., China, India, Singapore, and Spain. An incompatible trading with countries such as Dominican uh, Republic and Aruba will not, will not um, help Venezuela, but um, we can um, develop a strong international relationship. Thank you, Economic Minister. And now on to the facilitator for the Libertarian Party. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm the facilitator of the Libertarian Group, and I'm here to conclude and summarize why Venezuela should go Libertarian. Um, in 2018, 5,000 people left Venezuela every day. So this, this is equal to two, approximately 2 million people leaving in, in, in that one year. Um, Venezuela is, Venezuela is in a deep need of going libertarian. Currently, they are status, so the government, con, con, the government are, are the people who trade the oil out to uh, other countries, and when the money comes back, it's given to the government, and and it's not spread. And the government is corrupt, so they will not spread it throughout the country. And so, if we go libertarian, then we can make uh, this trade private, uh, and lot, and separate companies can trade and the money will be distributed throughout Venezuela. Um, on my sec, uh, oh yeah, according to CB and CNBC, written on February 7, 2019, Venezuela is a hundred billion dollars in debt, mostly to China and Russia. And the estimated GDP for Venezuela in 2019 would be 76 billion, so this is an issue. Uh, now on to my second point. Um, Venezuela needs new ways of trading soon um, because at some point if we continue to follow the status way of running of running the country then we will run out of oil because Venezuela because, yeah so we will run out of oil so if we become libertarian we will let the citizens be more inclusive on deciding new ways of, um, of international trade um, and that would reduce the need of oil um, uh, now on to another topic, it's, uh, it's about social programs. It's become so bad in Venezuela that simple healthcare and hospital services can't be done correctly. Um, according to the Guardian newspaper, soaps and, so soaps and simple medicines can't be afforded because of hyperinflation. If we go libertarian, the government has to give basic, basic needs such as clean water, hospitals, and, and food. Um, on to my third point. Um, the military, the, the security of Venezuela and the military isn't that great either. Their budget is $741 million, uh, and that is not enough because in because a tank a tank would cost six to eight million, depending on this model. And with this small budget, they need to get um, transportation vehicles, self-defense wep uh, weaponry, um, and this is the and this is not enough. So, what we, so if we come up with new ways of international trade, that that will have to increase our income, and that and, and so it's private, so it won't it, it will go across the country to the citizens, um, and then they would have to pay tax. They would have to. We will also monitor each person's income. Um, we we monitor each person's income so that we can base the tax on that because we don't want one person 
we wouldn't have the same tax on a person with higher income than on a lower income because that is not fair and that could also cause an oligarchy which is what we don't what we don't want um and so th with this tax 10 seconds it will, will find okay i'll just go to my conclusion so uh, the best decision for the for going libertarian is the best is the best decision for venezuela to go libertarian and and we can fix what state statism has done to the country we, uh, we can recover venezuela and we can plan ahead for, for this amazing country we can make venezuela great again